Hey guys, happy Saturday. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. So like the past few days, I've been getting up super early. So I've already been sitting here and waking up a little bit. So I'm ready to go ahead and pick out my outfit and get dressed. So like yesterday, I think I'm going to go in my room and lay out my clothes and show you what I'm going to wear before I go ahead and try it on. So let's get right into it and go do that. So here's the outfit. I wanted to do something fun with something comfortable. So I picked this one shoulder tank top. And I'm going with my pajama pants today. It is Saturday. That's how we're rolling. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys. So here's the outfit. This tank top is from Body Central. I don't think they're in business anymore, but I just got this at a thrift store. And it is one shoulder and it has this little metal thing right here. And then, of course, I'm wearing my Saturday casual pajama pants. So this is really a fun outfit mixed with a little bit of relaxation. And that is exactly what I like on a lazy Saturday. So I'm not going to do anything special with my hair or makeup today because we've got other things to do and plenty of makeup activities. So let's get into it. My daughter's necklace box broke yesterday and she really likes boxes of things. So I fixed it for her. So she let me borrow her necklace today. I only get to borrow it for one day though. So it's very special. So guys, if you've been watching my Vlogmas videos, then you probably know what this Dollar General bag encapsulates. Since I've been organizing over the course of Vlogmas, I've been stashing all the remnant makeup, everything that I've come in contact with in here. So this is just a big giant mess of all my extra makeup products. So as today is Saturday, I thought today would just be a fantastic day to just do some makeup errands. I really wanted to go through this bag, organize everything, put it back into its proper place. I wanted to do a clutter today. And I really wanna go through my small palettes and correctly organize them into their righteous place. So this is a big gigantic mess in here and I have no idea what's in here. So I don't know how this organization is gonna go, but we're just gonna go through here and see what happens. I'll tell you what though, this is my favorite kind of organizing. I love going through stuff. I'm a huge rummager. So this is actually really fun to me and this is how I like to spend my time. So the way I'm going to approach this is just pull things out and organize them into several piles around me. And then at the end of getting the last product out of this bag, then we're going to go put it back into its proper place into my makeup collection. So let's just go ahead and start with this bag since it's on top. These are just my small miniature primers and I guess I have a few samples in here. I'm just going to put these samples in with my sample bin over there and I'm going to make a pile for primers. I'm gonna put these few samples back in the bag so I don't lose them. I have a hair product. It's almost empty, but I'm still gonna keep that. I'm actually gonna put this hair product in this cabinet where all the hair products are. That hair product cabinet is a, another day, another time. That is crazy in there. I don't even wanna look at it. I have a wet and wild lip liner that goes in my lip liner pile. I have this KVD shade and light contour palette. And I don't know if this should go in face palettes or bronzers. You know, since I would actually use this for facial contouring, I think I'm going to put this into the drawer of my makeup desk because that's where I reach for contour specific products at. So this is going to go in a special place. Brow product, own pile. Fragrance, fragrance goes in my fragrance cart. Eye primer, eye primer goes up here on my vanity. A color corrector, now this goes somewhere special too, so this kind of goes into my Ally Glines bag in my living room, so I'm going to put this in another pile to take out there. Lash primer, this goes in my mascara drawer. Another eye primer, this goes up here. Facial oil, I'm going to go stick this by where all my facial oils are. This Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip can go in my lip tower. My Hourglass finishing powder that I'm almost done with. I'm going to put this in my desk too because this is a one-off product. I don't have many finishing powders. A liquid glitter eyeliner. This can go in my singles bin. I keep this Rimmel Stay Matte powder in my desk drawer too because if I'm filming a video and I notice my skin getting a little oily looking, I pat it down with this and this really comes in handy when I need it to. I got this Tarte eyeshadow palette. I already did a review and tutorial on it, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I have this big Elizabeth Arden entire face palette. So I'm going to move this into my eyeshadow collection so I can use it. Now this is my in-use eyeliner bag. So any eyeliner that I'm currently using, I keep in this bag. Obviously I'm not using it right now, right? But 
these are all the eyeliners that I have in there. So just a random assortment of colors. I'm just gonna keep these in here and put this into my living room pile so I can bring them out there. This is another thing that I need to go through and organize them, sharpen them, and kind of switch them out for other eyeliners. I have two things that go in my hair drawer, just some bobby pins and a headband. This is the Becca Skin Tint, so I'm gonna put this in with my foundations. Another primer for the primer pile. RM Beauty Concealer. This is the one that I wanted to do the review on, so I'm keeping it in the box. Another brow product that I actually really like. Another lip product from Essence. A liquid eyeliner, I think it's a brush tip. Let's see. No, it's actually a felt tip, but I'm gonna stick this upside down in my liquid eyeliner section. I have a Georgia fragrance. This goes on my fragrance cart. Another hair clip. This Becca corrector goes with my other corrector in my Allie Glines bag. This is a staple product in my routine. I use this to set my eye base when I do my eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my living room pile to put in my normal routine makeup bag. This is just a magnetic palette of some special eyeshadows I have. These are from Touch of Glam Beauty and they're holographic shadows, especially this one right here is super pretty. A velvet scrunchie. I don't know how my eyelash curler got on here, but this is one that I frequently use. This foundation stick is from Flesh, and this is the one that I use to carve out my brows when I want something really full and thick. So I'm going to put this into my staple makeup routine. Some Nailtopia nail polish just goes into my nail polish section. Some Verb Ghost Oil for my hair. I'm going to put this in my hair products. This is just a spritz bottle full of water. I use this to wet my eyeshadows, you know, anything that I need a little bit of water for. So I'm going to put this in my Allie Glines bag in the living room. This number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder is my favorite under eye setting powder. And this is a routine staple product for me. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this out to the living room. This is another routine product. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. This goes in the Allie Glines bag. Here's a lip liner with no words on it. Another eye primer for the eye primer section. This goes in the routine items. I'm gonna put this in a special pile for setting powders. This is a peach under eye tint, so I'm gonna put this in color correctors. We have a liquid shadow, so I'm gonna put this with my singles. I got two Smashbox lipsticks and an eye primer to put away. I'm gonna put the Stila Putty Duo in with my face palettes. I got a couple of hair items. This goes under my cabinet and this goes in my hair drawer. I have a foundation that's almost used up and something else for the primer pile. I have a few more liners for the liner pile. A clear brow gel for the brow pile. Another eye primer and this goes in my routine staple makeup. Another nail polish, this one's really pretty. This is from OPI and it's called The Thrill of Brazil. This is one of my favorite glitter bases from Lit Cosmetics, so I think I'm gonna put this in my desk drawer with all my important things. These two highlighters from MTU NYC go in my highlighter drawer. I have some skincare, it goes in my skincare area. Another foundation. Three more lip products. This goes in my declutter area because I hate this stuff. A little teeny dip brow gel and a liquid eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this Kaja Stampy highlighter because I did not like this at all. I got two fragrances that go in my fragrance cart and I just finished this Gigi Gorgeous Contour Powder. That's what it looks like. It is fully done. So I'm gonna put this in my empties. I have some foundation adjusting drops. So I'm gonna put this in my desk drawer and I have another concealer. This is a routine makeup item. So I'm gonna bring this out to the living room. I have some very fancy glitter from Profusion, so I'm gonna keep this on my desk. And then I have some Rock On Color Wax. This is temporary color wax in wild red. And that's all for this bag. So now I'm surrounded by piles upon piles of makeup, but they all have a place to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything where it needs to go. Okay guys, I brought all that stuff out to the living room and I still need to put it away, but I'm having a brief intermission with some iced coffee. We still have a lot of makeup work to do, so have no fear, we'll get back into it. Okay guys, so now we're gonna get into my drugstore foundation declutter. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this bed sheet on the ground first. So we have a nice foundation for all the foundations. 
And we're not gonna talk about the fact that this is Paw Patrol. We're just gonna ignore that. So next I'm gonna go into my room and go get all the drugstore foundations that I have and bring them out here and lay them out. So hell with running back and forth, I just brought the whole dang drawer out here. So I'm gonna start by counting all of these and taking them out of the drawer. Okay guys, so here's all of my drugstore foundations and I have 51 of them. So next I'm gonna sort them by type. I wanna sort them by full coverage, light coverage, and BB creams. Okay. So over in this corner, I'm putting all my weird foundations that are like compacts or cushions or sticks, stuff like that. Now I'm gonna look for all of my BB cream stuff. I found another stick. Now I'm gonna look for all of my super high coverage foundations. And then the rest in this big pile are stuff that I'm just unsure of and they all kind of do the same thing. So let's go through my super high coverage foundations first. I have seven of them. So I have this Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is the wrong shade for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I didn't really like it anyway. This is probably one of my top ever favorite foundations. This is from L'Oreal and it's called the Infallible Pro Glow. If you have normal skin, this looks beautiful on you. I definitely recommend this one. I know this is a controversial foundation, but I love it. From Physicians Formula, this is the Butter Believe It. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this Maybelline Super Stay foundation because they got rid of this one and changed it to a 30 hour wear. So if I ever wanna wear this again, I would just pick up the 30 hour one. This is kind of the wrong shade for me in this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, but I really like it and I really wanna do a review on it. So I'm gonna keep this one around. I'm gonna keep this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I love the Makeup Revolution foundations. Actually, I love a lot of Makeup Revolution makeup in general. So when I tried this, I was really, really happy with the performance of this one. And I know they just reformulated this one, so I'm gonna make a note in my phone. Actually, I'm gonna do it right now to pick up another one because this is one of my favorite foundations right here. This is from Catrice and this is the HD Liquid Coverage. And I want to pick that one up again. So I made a note in my phone and I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this older one. Now for tinted moisturizers and BB creams, I have eight of them. So the first one is from LA Girl and this is their tinted foundation. And I haven't had a chance to use this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Next up from CoverGirl, I have two of these clean matte BB creams and this is one of my most favorite BB creams in the whole world. This one's empty and this one's full, so I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep this one. This is super pretty on the skin. If you've never tried this, definitely check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this Avon Magix tint. No explanation necessary, somebody gave this to me and I just don't use it. Now I'm kind of conflicted about this Wet n Wild tinted hydrator. I wanna use it and review it, but I hate things with hyaluronic acid in it, and that's what this really claims to be about. I might save this just to do a review on it and then declutter it after I'm done with that, but I'm not crazy about, you know, it boasting to have so much hyaluronic acid in it, but I might just give this a try for the review. I got this Flower Beauty BB cream at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I was really excited about it, and I actually really, really like this, but it is way too dark for me, and I can't wear it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And this Maybelline Dream BB Fresh, I really like this, but it is such a sheer coverage that I might as well just not wear anything on my face at all, so I just really don't have any use for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Now this Misha one, this is called the Perfect Cover BB Cream. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this because last time, if I recall, I think it was a little too gray for me. I don't know, I don't know guys. I might wanna keep that and play around with it and see if I could get that to work. I really like this though and the bear is so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Now, before we get into all the weird foundations over there, we're gonna tackle this big massive pile right here. So let me count how many we're gonna be working with. So we have 24 foundations right here. So we have a lot to get through. So the first thing I'm obviously gonna keep is from Black Radiance Beauty, and this is their Color Perfect Liquid Makeup. I just did a monthly makeup review on this, and this is such a fabulous foundation if you can find it in your color. And the good thing about this is it's only $4, so it's such a great product for the price. I love this one, so I'm gonna keep it. I love number seven foundations, but this one's just about gone and it's pretty old. This is the Lift and Luminate foundation and it has sunscreen in it and it's probably about six years old. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. 
this is an eBay special from a brand called Foera, and this is supposed to be a really good foundation. And when I tried it, I actually really, really liked it. And this was only maybe a dollar fifty, and I thought it performed really, really well. But I just don't reach for it anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I had such great hopes for this NYX Born a Glow because everybody raved about this one, but I accidentally got it in the shade light, and this just doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Now from L'Oreal, I have the True Match Lumi Foundation, and I haven't had a chance to try this yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. This is from a brand called Woma by Sharon C, and this is the one that you can find at Walmart. They have another more prestigious brand that you can find at niche makeup stores. But this is called the Flawless in Real Life Skin Perfecting Foundation, and if you buy anything from this brand, their complexion products are where it's at. So I'm gonna definitely keep this one and continue using it. From BH Cosmetics, they have the BH Liquid Foundation. I don't even think they make this anymore, so I'm gonna declutter this one. I just recently picked up this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, so this is very new to me, and I haven't pulled it for a monthly makeup routine yet, so this is staying with me. Next, we have the Joa Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation Drops, and although I do really wanna try these, this is totally the wrong shade for me, and I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Next from Believe Beauty, which you know is one of my favorite brands, I have their Skin Finish Foundation, and this is in the shade Soft Beige. So this is another one I'm going to make a notation in my phone. Next time at, I'm at Dollar General, I'm going to have to pick up another shade, because every time I wear this foundation, I love, love, love how it looks on me, but my husband always makes the comment that my face looks like a ghost, so I cannot wear this one. So I'm going to have to pick up probably a shade or two deeper than this. So I'm making the notation in my phone right now. So this is going into my declutter pile, but I definitely recommend this one if you're at Dollar General. This is definitely worth the price. Next up from Morphe, we have the Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. I hated this when I reviewed it. I think this wears awful. It is very, very drying and I have normal balanced skin and this just didn't wear good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Now here's one I really like. This is from L'Oreal. I kind of like all of L'Oreal's complexion products. I think they do a fantastic job. Although they're quite pricey, I just think that they work really well. This is called the Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. And I have mine in the shade Golden Vanilla 45. And uh, I th using this foundation has actually made me want to try more stuff in the Age Perfect range, actually. And if you were looking for a serum foundation, this is quite the serum foundation. It's very liquidy and it really blends into your skin to give you that flawless look. So I'm going to keep this and continue using it. Now, this is also one of my favorite foundations. This is from Neutrogena and it's the Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup. So this actually has BHAs in it to really clear your skin as you wear it. So I thought that was really cool. Now this isn't really my shade. I kind of need something lighter. I think I'm also going to make a notation in my phone about this one because I really can't wear this one. So although I really, really recommend this and if you have acne or you suffer from breakouts, this is great for you. I will say it doesn't come with a pump. So you kind of have to pour it in your hand and apply it that way but it's not very expensive and this looks beautiful on the skin. So this is a clear recommendation for me, but I'm gonna have to purchase mine in a lighter shade next time. So I'm gonna put this in my declutter pile. Next from Maybelline, we have the Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Foundation, and I haven't tried this yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I have these two foundations from Wet n Wild. I have the normal one and then I have the dewy one and these aren't going anywhere. I love both of these foundations. So if I just want the normal matte finish, I keep the normal one. And if I just want a little bit of a more luminous look, I use the dewy one. And these are a nice medium high coverage. So I love how these perform and they're very affordable as well. Now this foundation from Profusion, I was so excited when it came out. I think the packaging looks super sleek and cool, but I just hated how this looks on my skin. It did not perform well and it wore really awfully, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one and never look back because I hated how my skin looked. Next, I have the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, and I've only worn this once, so I kind of want to do a wear test on this and continue playing with it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this in my collection. Next, I have the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, and this is okay, but not really a standout product for me, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Next, from Physician's Formula, I have the Healthy Foundation, and I'm going to check on my phone to see if this is still available because I really like this one when I wore it, and I don't want to get rid of it if I don't have to, so I'm going to check on my phone right now. 
So I just looked and this foundation is available at a ton of different retailers. So I love how this wears and I'm definitely going to keep this one. Now this e.l.f. one, I haven't worn in quite a while. This is their Flawless Finish Foundation, and I got mine in the shade Buff. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one to check the shade on it. What you doing, Mom? So there's the shade. I think this will work. I haven't worn it, but I kind of want to pull this for a monthly makeup routine. So I might keep this around and try it out a little bit and see how I like it, because I really can't remember. Now this is an old foundation as well, but I love this one too. This is from Revlon and it's called the Airbrush Effect Makeup. And I'm not ready to get rid of this one either because I want to pull it for a monthly makeup routine. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. And I just looked this one up and it was available on a few different retailers. So I'm going to keep this one too. Now here's one I'm going to declutter from AOA. This is their Buildable Satin Foundation in the shade Fair Ivory. Why I got it in such a light shade, I have no idea, but it does not work for me, so I would need to get one a little bit of a deeper shade. Now for this Rimmel Stay Matte, it's been a long time since I've used it, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one. This kind of looks like it would work for me too, so I kind of want to keep it around and give it another try for a monthly makeup thing, so... I'm gonna see how this works. Now we have 12 more foundations left and these are all my weirdly packaged ones. So let's talk about first and foremost this e.l.f. camo powder foundation. This is beautiful on the skin whether you want to wear as a foundation or a setting powder. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. This is from Essence and it's called the Soft Touch Mousse and I've used quite a bit of it and I've always really liked this when I've used it but it is a little bit dark for me and it is kind of old so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I'm just ready to have this out of my collection. What I'm not ready to get rid of is from L'Oreal yet again. This is called the Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick and you don't get a lot of product in here but what you do get is a very beautiful finish from this so I'm gonna go ahead and continue using this. But I do have three of these Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Sticks and I only need one. So I'm going to look at the shades and see what I've got going on in here. I have two Classic Ivories and one Sand Beige. So the Sand Beige is way too dark for me so that can go. And then I'm going to see how much I have left of both of these Classic Ivories. So there's how much I have left. I'm going to keep the one with more in it and get rid of the one that doesn't have as much and be done with that. This Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation, I bought this at Dollar Tree. I used it and I really enjoyed it. I thought it worked really well, but it's probably really old and dried out by now. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of my collection. I'm going to keep this Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1. I only used it once or twice and I still want to kind of figure this out and see how I can get it to work for me. So I'm going to keep this one. This Milani Cream to Powder Foundation looked absolutely awful on my skin. I don't even want to look at this anymore, so I'm going to declutter this. This really makes me sad, but this is no longer available. This came out so many years ago. This is from Physicians Formula, and it's their Super BB Stick. And I use this till it died. Like, there's no more product left in here. It is completely empty. And this is in the shade Light Medium. And I wish they came out with this again because it works so well. It made my skin look perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this finally. And lastly, I have two foundation palettes from JCAT Beauty, but they're dried up, so I can't use these anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter these. So here's what my drugstore foundation drawer looks like after we did the declutter, and I'm going to tell you exactly how much we're getting rid of, and I'm going to show you the declutter pile. Okay guys, so here's all the foundations. We're getting rid of 26 of them, so I'm getting rid of more than half of them. And looking at this pile, I honestly don't think I'm going to miss anything and I don't regret any decisions that I made. So I'm very happy with what we did say. And I don't waste anything, so I'm going to go ahead and pass these all along to somebody else. Except the ones that are empty. Those obviously have to be discarded because there's no product left. But everything else is going to be put to use. So I'm going to go put my drawer back inside my unit, put these in a box, and pick up the sheet. And I'll catch you in the next segment. So guys, here we are back in my room amongst my makeup collection. And this is the next makeup project that I needed to do today. This is where I store all my mini palettes and I classify any mini palette being nine pan or smaller. So I have duos, trios, quads, quints, and everything else up to nine pans in here. And what you see in front of you is all mixed up. And what I really wanted to do is separate it by affordable over here 
and higher end over here. So I guess the easiest way to approach this is to just take every single thing out and put it into a big pile next to me on the ground. I've been needing to do this for quite some time now, so I'm finally glad that we're getting to it because we have a very busy week up ahead, so I don't think I'll have enough time coming up. I love doing reviews on small pallets in specific, so these are really, really special to me and come in handy, so I need to know exactly where everything's at, so they have to really be organized. I have all sorts of brands in here, everything from things I get in Ipsy and BoxyCharm and really expensive ones like the Viseart ones. But as we're putting them away, I'll go more in depth and show you the ones that I have. Okay, so I have a ton of palettes next to me and I guess the first one I wanna start with is this, the Nubian by Juvia's Place and I have two of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the one in the box and I'm gonna keep this one. And I don't know what to even classify this one. Is this affordable or is this higher end? I do know Juvia's Place is affordable, but it's also sold at Ulta. So I'm not sure what to do with this one. I'm just gonna put this in the affordable drawer for now. I have all these iHeart Revolution Heartbreakers palettes and I love the iHeart Revolution eyeshadow formula. So I've only played with this blue one so far, but I really wanna try these other ones. I have this palette from Natasha Denona. It's called the Jubilee. I'm going to try to find all of my Profusion 5 pans right here. So I just did a review on this delightful Dahlia one. This was really fun to use. I got a pretty look out of it. But see this glitter in the middle? I only used it a few times and I already hit pan on it. So that's kind of weird. But when I bought that, I bought the entire collection of them. And each one has a pressed glitter on the inside. So if you're not into pressed glitter, you probably won't like these. But I love pressed glitter. So that just made it more special for me. So I'm going to go ahead and stack these up and put them in the affordable drawer. I always like to double check palettes that come in the boxes too because I want to make sure I have all the right information for when I do a review on it. I want to make sure I don't throw anything away that I need. But this is a palette from Ofra and it's called the Signature Palette in the Style Symphony. And that's really pretty. I'm going to put this in the higher end drawer. Then we got this one from LA Girl I haven't really used yet. And then we got a couple things by the brand Half Caked, which I really love, by the way. But these are a little bit confusing because I don't know if they're considered affordable or more higher end. So I guess I'm just going to stick them in the affordable drawer next to the Juvia's Place, just amongst all the confusing palettes. I got another Natasha Denona. This is called the Cupid. I'm not really a Disney fan, but I did buy some Disney palettes on Beauty Bay just because these color stories are really, really unique and super pretty. So I'm going to stick the two of these that I have in the affordable drawer. I just have to find the other one somewhere. Here's the other one. It's the Alice in Wonderland one. So see how unique both of these color stories are? I just thought they were super cool. So that's why I bought them. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these. And then I just recently bought this Too Faced one at TJ Maxx, so I'm going to put this in the higher end drawer. Then I got the ColourPop Bambi. I found another Heartbreakers palette to add to my collection in there. And then I got this beautiful Norvina palette. Norvina is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas, so that's staying. I got this Lila B Quad. I know they went out of business, but I definitely want to try that, so I'm keeping that. I got a couple of these Dose of Colors palettes. This is the Blushing Berries. And then this is the Baked Browns, and I've only reviewed this one so far. Actually, I don't even know if I reviewed that one. I know I did a tutorial on that one, but I still want to hang on to these and maybe look back and do a comparison review on that. These are all the ColourPop 9 pans that I have. This is it. This is all of them. So I've got Going Coconuts. That's what that one looks like. I've got the Star Wars Child Palette. I got the That's Tote palette. I had a really hard time working with this one. I didn't really like it much. And then I got the Mandalorian palette, which I haven't even opened yet. So let's go ahead and do that. My ColourPop collection is lacking, that is for sure. I forgot to mention, as far as this That's Tote palette, I'm just going to keep this in my collection for a little bit because I did only try this a couple times, so I kind of wanted to give it a few more chances to see if I could get it to work. But I'm telling you, I really had a hard time working with this one. And then I got two little five pans from Dragon Beauty. I picked these up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I thought these were fun to play with. 
Then I got this horrible Sandbar Oasis palette that I got in an Ipsy. This was god awful. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I can't stand this palette. I got this palette from Camadu Cosmetics, and I hate that it comes in this foam packaging. It feels so cheap, so I'm going to get rid of this one as well. I got the Kaleidos Cold Brew palette. This is staying with me. Everything Kaleidos stays with me. I got a couple Huda Beauty palettes. I got the Pastel Lilac and the Love Fest. And I got a couple Viseart. So this is the Petite Pro 2. So there's that one. And I'm going to go ahead and keep all these. And this one, let's see what this one is called. This one's called the Petite Pro Doe. So there's that one. The packaging on this one's kind of falling apart. Maybe I should just throw away the box. And then this is my newest one, and I bought this off of Beautylish. And this is called the Paris A12. And there's what that one looks like. I'm going to keep the box for this one because there's information on the box that the palette doesn't have. Here's the Dominique Cosmetics Sweater Weather. That's kind of hard to say, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. This Rare Beauty palette, this is called Magnetic Spirit. I'm going to stick this palette in my bathroom because it's an all shimmer palette and I like to keep those together and all my other ones are in the bathroom displayed in there. Now this one is from KKW Beauty and it's called the Smoky Volume 1. And this is one dirty palette, but I sure love the looks I get out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Now here's something from Langmani, and I love the Langmani formula. And this is the Nude Special, so I'm going to keep this one. And these are only a couple of bucks. This is from a brand called Catherine Girl, and this is the Kindness palette. I think I want to do a review on this one because I'm interested in this brand. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I got a couple of these little Essence palettes. I got the Dancing Green and the Bronze this way. Here's my Black Radiance Beauty Jaded palette. I love this palette. I got something from Violet Voss that I haven't opened up yet. So this palette doesn't seem to have a name on it. It just has six color eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette. And there's what it looks like. Super pretty. I got this palette right here from Cleo Noir. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I don't foresee myself using this one. I also have this palette from Aesthetica and it looks like this. I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I got this palette from Buxom, and this is called the Dolly's Wild Side Palette, and this is kind of where you can build your own palettes, but this one was pre-made, so I'm just going to declutter this one. I got a Milani Most Wanted Palette, and this is called Up to No Good. I'm going to keep this one. And then I got a ton of Natasha Denona minis, so let's do the big ones first. I got the Peak Palette, and this is the Coral Palette. And this is one of my favorites, the Camel Palette. This is the Joya Palette. And this one is the Aries Palette. And now for the little ones, I have the Mini Retro. I have the Mini Gold. I have the Mini Nude. And I have the Mini Leela. So I have two Wet n Wild Color Icon 5 pans, and then I have the Catrice 5 in a box, and I'm going to go ahead and keep all three of these. I did do a review and tutorial using this Petalette one, and I was impressed with this, so pretty interesting. I'm interested in trying this really old one called Walking on Eggshells. Then I got a couple of these Elf ones. I got the Ossiai U, then I have the Mint to Be, and this one is called Truffles, and this one is called chocolate mint and this last one is rose water so these are all staying with me then I got this one from profusion called space babe and if there was a color story to describe me it would be this I love this color story so I'm gonna keep this one and play with it I'm keeping this beautiful big gelée palette from Revlon this one is in the shade slight flex I have this palette from Seattle London called everyday vacay so let's look at this one well it's okay the layout's kind of chaotic, but I might do a review on this, so I'm going to keep this around. From REM Beauty, I have the Go Go Boots palette. I love this palette. I know everybody hates on the REM Beauty formula, but I thought it was pretty great, so I'm keeping this thing. Then I got a few palettes from Revlon. I just got this one recently, and this is called the Angel Loafs. And then I got this Eye Contour Kit. And then I got this Color Stay Quad in the shade Passionate. So I'm going to keep all these for future review. 
I have this NARS Andy Warhol palette and as cool as it is, I'm just going to get rid of it because this outside packaging it has just aged and it's gotten really sticky and I hate touching it. I have a few palettes from Fenty Beauty. These are the Snapshadow. So this is the shade Holidays. So here's that beautiful color story. And then I got number eight right here. This is the All Pastel Shimmers. And then number seven is this kind of grungy tone. So I'm gonna keep all these and I wish I had another one to snap on the back of that. Then I have a few from AOA. I already did reviews on these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter them. They weren't that great in my opinion. I have this little Lancome palette right here and I think it's so cute and I get really pretty looks out of it. So I'm gonna keep this. I have a little teeny ColourPop eye quad and this is in the Citrus Fizz style. So I'm keeping this. Then I have two here. This is the KKW Beauty Eye Contour Kit, and I love this. If you're just looking for a quick, easy eye look, this is the perfect tones that you need. So I'm keeping that. And this is Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio. I don't know if they still make these or not, but I remember really enjoying this while using it. So I'm going to keep this around. Then I got a Maybelline City Mini Palette, which I haven't reviewed yet, and an LA Girl Eye Lux Palette in the style Mesmerizing. Let's look at this one actually it's sealed. I haven't reviewed this one yet either and I love blue eyeshadow so I want to test both of these out. And then I have 10 palettes left and all 10 of these came from Ipsy. Now this palette came from Beauty Vault and this is a stunning palette so I'm keeping that one. This is one of my favorite brands, Chella Beauty, and this is their newest quad, so I'm keeping that one. This is a really affordable brand called MTU NYC, so I kind of wanted to review a bunch of their products at one point, so I need to kind of collect them. So I'm going to keep this in my affordable drawer. We have this Real Her Dream So Big eyeshadow duo. I'm just not going to use this, so I'm passing this along. We have this Jill Lean eyeshadow duo. This looks like it came from Yes Style. I kind of want to play with this, so I'm going to keep this in my affordable drawer. Then we have this question mark palette. This is from a brand called Y Cosmetics, and it's the number two palette. I'm just not interested in this, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. I love this brand, Aristelli Beauty, but I'm just not going to use this, so I'm going to pass this along. Then we have this little quad from Arisa Beauty, and it's three very metallic eyeshadows and one matte, so I'm going to keep this and play around with it. And then we have one I haven't unboxed yet. This is from Estate Cosmetics. And it looks super cute. This is called On Wednesday's Mini Pigment Palette. And I'm going to keep this and play around with it. Again, I don't know if this is an affordable brand or if this is higher end. So I'm just going to put it with my other Ipsy palettes, actually. And then we got PYT Beauty. I think this is an affordable brand. I'm going to go ahead and keep this quad because I like keeping these little quads. They're not hard to store and they come in handy. So you can't tell me that these drawers don't look a thousand times better. Now I actually have them organized. This is my affordable drawer over here. This is my higher end drawer over here. So when I do my reviews, I know exactly where to look for my products now. I did get rid of a few palettes and I have a whole pile of trash right here in front of me. So now I'm very, very happy and I'm satisfied and now I could go to bed happy accomplishing something that I've been meaning to do for the last several weeks. Guys, as I was getting up, throwing out the trash, I realized I was sitting on a palette. So here is our official last mini palette. This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics and it's one of their bite-sized eyeshadow palettes in the style Hot Jalapeno. I already did a full review on this. I also did a separate tutorial using this. I think I might have even did two of them because this color story appeals to me so, so, so much. But I'll tell you, I wasn't really astounded by the performance of these shades. Some of the mattes were just really patchy and I think the only one I really liked was this green metallic right here. This yellow gold didn't really blow me out of the water or anything, but I'm going to keep this just because I definitely love the color story and it gives me so much inspiration. So I'm just going to keep this amongst all my other e.l.f. bite size palettes. So there we have it. I can officially close these drawers now. I'm not sitting on any more palettes and now I can say I am very happy and satisfied. So thanks for coming along on this journey with me, guys. Okay guys, so here's my dinner for tonight. I have butter toast and this is on sugar-free green bread. And then I have a Bosque pear sliced up. 
Then I have my nut selection. So I have my cashews, my lightly salted almonds, my walnut, and my dinner time supplements. So if you think this is a lot of supplements, you should see what I take at nighttime. And I also have my water bottle. Okay guys, so I'm gonna close out the vlog here for Vlogmas Day 17 and get ready for tomorrow, Vlogmas Day 18. We have a big day planned for tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I also hope you had quite an amazing day. And if you did, please give this video a giant thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, just hit that thumbs down button. And until next time, bye.